And tonight, help is on the way for an East St. Louis agency, a Metro East agency that said it was on the brink of collapse. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Brent Solomon in for Mike Bush. The St. Clair County Public Defender's Office has been battling shrieking staff and an increasing workload, causing some lawyers to even leave the department. But things could be getting better. Ryan Henson joining us now with what's expected to help. Ryan. Yes, I'm here with good news. The chief judge and county board chairman agreed to add $200,000 to the public defender's office budget. The chief public defender says this will help with retention and hiring new lawyers. Absolutely. Our salaries were not competitive with um, any other public defender's office in the uh, state. And then also um, our caseloads were just really unbearable. The simple formula that resulted in a purge of lawyers leaving the St. Clair County Public Defender's Office. Chief Public Defender Kathy McElroy says caseloads have been on the rise since 2018. She also says on Friday she will be down to four full-time attorneys. Her felony attorneys are now handling up to 450 cases a year. The ABA recommends 150 and those are felony cases. This is so we're triple what it should be. It's it's basically unmanageable. McElroy says the shortage in funding impacted people on both sides of the courtroom. Then the victims of a case aren't getting any justice. If my client uh, believes that they've been wrongly accused, they're not getting any justice. So the system basically grinds to a halt when we don't have time to prepare or talk to clients. But McElroy says Wednesday afternoon, the chief judge and county board chairman agreed to add $200,000 of funding to the office's budget. So we're, we're happy about that. We should be able to raise uh, our salaries up a little bit for the people at the bottom and hopefully attract some new lawyers to fill the vacancies that I have. The chief public defender says she needs seven lawyers to get the job done. Ten is ideal. McElroy is optimistic more funding is coming down the pipe soon. And the chief public defender says she's hoping a steady stream of funding will continue from the county. She's also eyeing new grants for her office thanks to the new Safety Act that takes effect next month. I'm Ryan Henson. I'll send it back to the desk for now, Brent. All right, Ryan, let's hope it helps.